हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इट्स मी अनिल एंड आई एम बैक विद अ न्यू वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू डाउनलोड एंड इंस्टॉल सिक्वल सर्वर एंड देन सिक्वल सर्वर मैनेजमेंट स्टूडियो ओके सो फॉर दिस लाइक वी विल गोइंग टू यूज अ ब्राउजर यू कैन यूज एनी ब्राउजर आई एम यूजिंग हियर गूगल क्रोम ओके सो लेट्स ओपन इट नाउ सर्च फॉर सिक्वल सर्वर सिक्वल सर्वर download the first link that is microsoft official link open it let's go little below here we have two option for downloading the first one is developer one and the second one is express one okay so we have two option to download sql server and we are going to use your sql express in our case to download it you can download the developer one also okay it's up to you so i uh, recommend specially recommend you like to download express one click on download now it will open a new window okay then it will go to start your downloading okay so it will take a little time okay it's done just double click on it click on yes now here we will going to select the custom one because in custom one we can select uh, the components the features we like to install in it okay so we'll go for custom click on it and then if you want to select the location select i will be leaving as default okay then click on install now it's downloading the install package it will take time based on your internet speed and okay so it's almost done Okay, so our downloading has been successfully completed for the SQL Server. Now we don't to, we need to install it. Okay, so in the so here the first can see the first link. Open it means click on it. I accept the license and terms and conditions. Okay, next. here for it will check for the update i don't want any update in that so i will not going to check leave it next then it will going to test something okay so everything is passed you can see the result only the windows firewall is showing warning but it's not a uh, problem so we'll go for next now here we need to select the feature which we want in our sql server okay so i uh, don't want this machine learning services uh, services and language so i will uncheck it okay and scroll down little bit okay i want the local db also so i will check it it's up to you what you want just select it and go forward okay so that's it uh, you can change the path also okay and click on next Ah, okay you for looking for the reporting service then uh, you have the option to download from there okay if you don't then click on next okay now your the name the instance name of the sql express it will come here you can change if you want i will be leaving as default okay then click on next
here also we are leaving the default click on next it will start from there and and here at the end the complete okay it will go step by step so here there is two mode uh, like uh, for database con engine configuration the first one okay so before that like we'll go into uh, install our sql server management studio because it will take time to download okay so we'll put it in download and then we'll move forward for installing the sql server okay so you can see the first link here for downloading the sql server management studio okay that is 18.12.1 okay so this is a latest one uh, uh, before that like you can see uh, SSMS 19 preview 3 that link also is given for downloading the SQL Server Management Studio version 19 but it's not a, a, a stable version right now so we'll go for the the older one that is 18.1.21 it is uh, release date that is 21 of June okay so it will take time to download so let's move over to previous page so you can see there is two mode in authentication mode the first one is windows authentication mode and the second one is mixed mode in that sql server authentication mode is there as well as the win windows authentication mode is also there okay that means both mode is there in the second one so we'll go for the mixed mode okay So here in that in enter password we have need to password enter the password the username is SA that is system administrator okay and the password we need to enter the password and then the same for confirm password okay so let's enter some password confirm password and for the user if you don't have any user you can add the current user or click on add to add it okay so we have our option uh, if, you have, if you want to remove the existing one you can remove from there okay or add it a new one so after that the click on next now it will take some time for installation after that it will go into and it means it will go to go completed okay so after waiting for few minutes uh, this almost uh, it's completed downloading part okay so everything the features is uh, downloaded and it's succeeded in installing okay Success, successfully installed every com features uh, that we have taken okay so now we close this one okay and close this one also still the SQL Server Management Studio is uh, downloading it will take time so I will skip the video a little bit okay now it gets downloaded just double click on it click on yes now uh, you can select the location where you want to get installed or just click on install Now our installation is started. It will take some time, so I have skipped the video. Now it's almost done.
so our installation is completed successfully now we need to uh, like restart our pc in order to complete the complete setup okay so we have to restart our pc now so just click on the restart that will restart your pc click on restart now i have restart my pc okay so let's uh, open our sql server management studio okay so it's get open now here the server name can see uh, the my pc name and the sql express so here in authentication there is two mode windows authentication and the second one is sql server authentication okay so first we'll go to see windows authentication so you don't require any username or password just click on connect it will go to connect to our database right now in database we don't have any database but we have some system databases okay so now let's uh, connect again database this time we'll going to use sql server authentication okay and now here we need to pass the login uh, name and the password in login uh, sa will come that is system administrator and in password whatever the password you have given at the time of installation that password is required here just give it and like if you uh, want to click on remember password click on now it gets connected you can see uh, system database is now visible okay so our installation is now successfully completed so that's it for today we'll meet in the next video till then bye take care thank you for watching